Welcome to Good Night Tales. Once upon a time, there lived a sweet, kind young girl who loved wearing a red cloak with a hood. Because of this, everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to visit her grandmother, who lived in a cottage on the other side of the forest. Her grandmother had been feeling ill, and her mother thought a basket of freshly baked goods and a jar of honey might help cheer her up. Remember, dear, stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. Her mother said as she handed over the basket, Little Red Riding Hood promised to be careful and set off through the forest, humming a cheerful tune. As she walked, the trees whispered softly in the breeze, and the sunlight filtered through the leaves, casting dappled patterns on the ground. But the forest was also home to a cunning and hungry wolf. When the wolf saw Little Red Riding Hood, he saw not just a potential meal, but an opportunity. He approached her with a friendly smile. Good day, little girl. Where are you headed? Said the wolf. I'm going to visit my grandmother. She lives in the cottage at the end of the path. Little Red Riding Hood replied innocently. The wolf's eyes gleamed with a sly plan. How delightful. But you know, there are so many beautiful flowers and birds in the forest. Why don't you take a little detour and enjoy them? I'm sure your grandmother will appreciate your lovely gift even more. Suspecting any harm, Little Red Riding Hood agreed and wandered off the path to explore the forest, picking flowers and admiring the birds. Meanwhile, the wolf took the quickest route to grandmother's cottage. Arriving at the cottage, the wolf knocked on the door. Who is it? Called grandmother. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf said, trying to sound like the little girl. Come in, dear, said grandmother. But as soon as the wolf entered, he pounced on grandmother and locked her in the closet. Then he put on her nightgown and cap and got into her bed, pulling the covers up to his chin. When Little Red Riding Hood finally reached her grandmother's cottage, she noticed the door was slightly ajar. Puzzled, she pushed it open and called out, Grandmother, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, dear, came a feeble voice from the bed. Little Red Riding Hood stepped inside and approached the bed. But as she drew closer, she began to notice how strange her grandmother looked. The figure in the bed had a peculiar voice and an odd appearance. Grandmother, what big eyes you have, she asked. All the better to see you with, my dear, the wolf answered. Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear, the wolf answered again. Grandmother, what big teeth you have. <laughs> All the better to eat you with, roared the wolf, leaping out of bed. Just as the wolf was about to pounce, there was a loud knock on the door. It was a brave woodsman who had heard about the wolf's misdeeds. He burst into the cottage and, with a swift and determined effort, he chased the wolf away. After ensuring that the wolf was gone, the woodsman freed grandmother from the closet. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother hugged each other tightly, relieved and grateful. To celebrate their safety, the woodsman, grandmother, and Little Red Riding Hood enjoyed a hearty meal of the goodies Little Red Riding Hood had brought. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood remembered her mother's advice and stayed on the path, always being cautious of strangers. And so the village remained peaceful, the forest safe once more, and Little Red Riding Hood lived happily ever after.